In this RouteCAD tutorial video, we will see how to save efficiently a workpiece that we have created and the routing sequence that we have created. We have a chuck holding tool that we have designed using keep out of route line. We also have a cylindrical workpiece. We also have a cutting tool. All of these were designed with keep out of route line, which are in blue. We also have a contour um, that was done with construction line, and this contour was routed with the uh, wizard. Now, he, there are five passes in this contour. First pass, second pass, third, fourth, and five pass to get the final result. And even in this project, we have added some point after the last routing sequence so that the cutting tool basically go back to its original position after it's finished its machining. Now, when we started this project, the name of the project was CNC Chuck Fool, and it, it didn't have the routing sequence. Now, it is important if we want to save this project to make the difference between a project that has the profile that we're working on in and a project that have the profile and also the routing sequence because if we would like to reuse the original profile, it is much better to go back to the profile without the routing sequence. Now, this profile has the routing sequence and we're going to basically save this profile. So we go to File, Save As, and we have a file name. We're going to name it Lake Chuck Full with Multipass. So we give it a name that suggests that we have the passes in this profile. So it is good this way. If we want to go back and reopen that file, we can do so. But before we open another file and lose the information, we're going to undo the routing sequence that was done on this project. So we're going to go Control Z. And we're basically undoing what all the routing sequence that we've done. So now we went back to the prof, uh, to the to the project, the original project without the routing sequence. And we're also going to save that project. We're going to go to File, Save As, and this one we're going to only call it Late Chuck Full. We click on save. Now it already existed, so we're going to overwrite it. So yes. So basically, what we have now, we have basically two projects. We have an original project with all the information we need to route, which is late chock full, and we also have another project that was already uh, that we have another project that we have multipass done, showing it's not this one. We're going to open another one. Wizard. Okay. It, it was this one. Display route hour. There we go. Now, basically, we have two projects, and it is better to work that way. Each time we design a, a profile, we save the profile in a, in a file. In this case, we save it as late chock full. That's the first time we save. Now, the second time we save is we save it 
with lead chock full multipass, or we can choose another name. So basically, we have two files. One file that has the original project with everything we need, but does not have the routing sequence, and another project that has everything we need plus the routing sequence. And the reason why we do that is very often we want to go back to the original project. In this case, it was lit chock full. And we want to do the routing sequence into another way. For example, if we go to the wizard and we select contour revolution, we might change the parameters of the wizard and redo the routing sequence to get uh, another a different result on uh, on the port that we're machining. So, so that's why it's always better to always save the original project without the routing sequence. And each time we make a new routing sequence, we save the project with that new routing sequence there. And so we, we, then we export the G code. Because obviously, a project without a routing sequence, we cannot export the G code. But you can go and do new routing sequence many times and change the parameters, see what works, and experiment. But a project with the uh, routing sequence, there you can save, uh, you, can, you, can, you can export the G code there. So uh, if you have saved it, then you, you just open it again, you export the G code again if you want to do and remachine it.